After a mistake, during a training exercise at Stansted Airport, MI5 Agent River Cartwright is faced with the possibility of being demoted to slow house, which is considered a prestigious assignment compared to termination. River's boss, Jackson Lamb, assigns him to keep an eye on journalist Robert Hobden, who has connections to politicians Peter Judd and Roger Simmons. River's colleague, Sidoni Sid Baker, discreetly makes copies of the contents of Hobden's USB drive in a cafe. To River's surprise, he is then given the task of delivering the drive to MI5 headquarters. Hobden causes concern by reaching out to journalists and claiming that he possesses information about an attack. River seeks advice from his grandfather, who reveals that Hobden has been blacklisted after being linked to a leaked donor list from the British Patriotic Party. His grandfather suggests that Slough House is used for situations where deniability can be maintained if things go wrong. In the meantime, Standish attends an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting. The situation becomes more intense as Hassan Ahmed, a student, is kidnapped by a far-right group called Sons of Albion. The group announces their plan to behead him through a live stream at sunrise. Breaking Protocol River decides to leave Slow House in order to conduct his own investigation. Hassan's captors Mo Larry Curley and Zeppo hold him in a London terrace basement, revealing Simmons' involvement in the kidnapping. River, after copying Hobden's USB drive before delivering it to Regent's Park, discovers it contains no information. He manipulates rival James Spiderweb into confirming this discovery. Standish grapples with flashbacks to the death of Charles Partner, a former colleague of hers and Lamb's. Slow House's cyber expert Roddy Ho faces challenges hacking Hobden's air-gapped laptop, deepening everyone's suspicions. Deputy Director General Diana Taverner approaches another member of Slow House, Jed Moody, and instructs him to do some off-book work for her. Two other members of Slough House, Min Harper and Louisa, meet in a pub after work and lament their failed careers. River and Sid decide to tail Hobden, but she confesses that she was assigned to Lamb's team to keep tabs on River. The two see a masked man enter Hobden's home and pursue him, discovering upon entry that Hobden was able to destroy his hard drive with thermite. Hobden escapes as River and Sid fight the masked man, who escapes after shooting Sid in the head. Sid, critically injured but alive, is rushed to the hospital by MI5 security operatives who detain River. Lamb orchestrates a breakout, and the duo suspects Moody is the assailant sent to kill Hobden. Moody returns to Slow House, attacking Min and Louisa upon their return, but a fatal fall down the stairs concludes the scuffle. Lamb anticipates that Slow House will bear the blame for any mishaps in Regent's Park's operation, risking disavowal if it fails. Taverner meets Lamb, disclosing Ahmed's connection to the second-in-command of Pakistani military intelligence. Hassan's kidnapping and the intended rescue are unsanctioned, orchestrated by Taverner to potentially enhance cooperation with Pakistan and dismantle the far right. She claims to have an operative within the Sons of Albion who organized the kidnapping and will facilitate the rescue. Hobden meets with Judd and tries to convince him to go public with the information that Hassan's kidnapping is a setup, only to be rebuked. Hassan tries to escape and is threatened by Mo. Giving him a chance to save face, Taverner offers Lamb's team the opportunity to signal to her man the raid is about to commence, allowing him to escape with Hassan. He, River, Min, and Louisa arrive at the property, but upon entry discover it empty, aside from Moe's beheaded corpse. It is revealed that Moe, real name Alan Black, was Taverner's mole, but was found out and murdered by Curly, who then fled with Zeppo, Larry, and Hassan. Driving out of London, Zeppo and Larry reveal that they never intended to go through with killing Ahmed and entertain the idea of releasing him, becoming increasingly concerned with Curly's erratic behavior and rhetoric. Lamb and his team evacuate the property before the arrival of the dogs, aware that Slow House will be scapegoated due to the operation's failure. River rescues Roddy before he can be apprehended, but Min and Louisa witness their colleague Strew and Loy being taken by operatives. Taverner attempts to sway Standish's allegiance, asserting Lamb's involvement in partner's death. However, Standish remains loyal when Lamb arrives to extract her. As they leave her house, James Webb and head of security Nick Duffy apprehend them, forcing them into a car after searching Lamb. During the journey to Regent's Park, Standish manages to free herself and Lamb, 
pulling a gun from her handbag originally taken from Moody and placed there by Lamb. In the aftermath of the failed operation, Director General of the Security Service Ingrid Tierney, learning of the situation, rushes back to London, pressuring Taverner to resolve loose ends quickly. Taverner manipulates Struan into providing false evidence, framing Lamb as the mastermind behind the false flag operation involving Black, diverting blame from herself. As the team regroups, River recalls secretly capturing a photo of Taverner meeting with Black during surveillance training. Lamb returns Duffy's car to Regent's Park and demands a meeting with Taverner, who proposes a way out that involves Lamb being fired but not facing charges. She also threatens Standish and falsely claims that Sid has died in the hospital. Lamb informs Taverner that there's a bomb in the car he returned, allowing River to infiltrate while Duffy's security team investigates. River confronts Webb, accusing Taverner of intentionally feeding him incorrect intel during the Stansted exercise to ensure his failure and demotion. Armed with the photograph of Taverner's meeting with Black, River, and Lamb threatened to expose Taverner's operation to the Director General of MI5 and the press. Standish and Roddy identify the van used by the Sons of Albion, connecting it to a previous cover identity used by Black. They begin tracking it. Running low on fuel, Curly declares his intent to be head off med and resist arrest, but Zeppo takes charge after revealing a handgun he had taken from Black's corpse. Hassan discloses that his uncle can offer money for his safe return. After refueling, Curly disarms and kills Zeppo, regaining control. Taverner confronts Judd at his home, exposing that his calls to far-right contacts after Hobden's visit led to Black's death and the mission's compromise. Tierney's return prompts Taverner to lie about the operation. Curly, holding Larry and Hassan at gunpoint in a secluded woodland, aims to carry out the beheading. Larry frees Ahmed, attacking Curly with an axe before escaping. An injured Curly recaptures Hassan. Larry reaches Harwich's seaport but is fatally shot by the dogs on Tierney's orders, who plant a weapon on his corpse for justification. Curly prepares to kill Hassan near a supposed Norman castle. Lamb, River, Min, and Louisa, aided by Roddy, track them down. In a brief shootout, Curly is knocked out by Hassan with a rock. Despite the arrival of the dogs, the group prevents them from killing Curly. With the mission seemingly successful, Roddy informs River that all traces of Sid's name have been erased, hinting she might still be alive. Duffy kills Hobden. It's unveiled that Partner, the former Director General of MI5, officially committed suicide due to Foreign Intelligence Service blackmail. Lamb reveals to Standish that he knew and provided the gun, as Partner was a close friend. In a flashback, Lamb discloses that he killed Partner, making it appear as suicide, following orders from River's grandfather, David Cartwright. 